Hello folks and happy Lunar New Year. This is Gabor. I'm reporting from Chopron. And this is also another reason for celebration. I mean the producing of this video because this is going to be the last video that I produce for YouTube. As I promised, I will stop at the 111th video and this is the 111th video. There are more and more YouTubers that are leaving YouTube. So I got a couple of videos about reasons why YouTubers leave YouTube, etc. So I took it as a sign that, okay, now it's time to make the video and say goodbye to YouTube as a YouTuber. So this is going to be the, my end as a YouTuber. When it comes to Operation Digital Freedom, I say goodbye to YouTube as a producer, but I still going to continue producing, uh, not producing, but watching videos on YouTube. And I also promise that I'm going to leave Facebook. Eventually I will, but not right now, because I realize that although I don't really spend time on Facebook anymore, there is an exception is selling things. Selling things is really easy and really effective on Facebook. So I still have a couple of things to sell. That means that I am staying in no until about November. Plus I want to do everything step by step so that everything is comfortable. You know, I'm not chased by the Tatars as, uh, as we say here in Hungary, so I don't need to act in a hurry. I'm still dedicated to Operation Digital Freedom, that is getting rid of the big tech. And now in this next period, I'm going to focus on not the getting rid of part, because when I'm focusing on getting rid of, I'm actually getting more involved and it makes it harder to get rid of things so that I noticed when how easy it was, for example, to delete LinkedIn because I wasn't using LinkedIn anyway and I'm not planning to. No, I want to find jobs in a much more organic way. Well, I have a little poem ready for you, so that's why I'm, you know, uh, checking uh, things on my laptop and making sure that it's not going to be blurred out. So, oh, this is going to be a good one. All right, <clears throat> so as I said, I'm focusing on the replacement part. So what to replace? The Not mainstream media, well, that's already gone, fortunately, almost entirely from my life, but big tech, yeah, big tech company. So I'm not focusing on getting rid of them, I'm focusing on the replacement. So to install them, use them, and doing other activities, for example, joining the army. And there's the next thing, because in the last video I was talking about coming of age, I feel that the pacing that I imagined for myself, it, is, it was really, really fast and forced, so that I'm going to participate in the army as a reservist, I'm going to do army trainings, and uh, various assignments that are available for reservists like me. And that makes uh, me feel much more comfortable than to join an elite unit and throw away my entire life. <laughs> because I don't feel the conviction is so big at the moment. You know, I will work as a reservist active reservist and then when I feel that there is something for me that I want to dedicate myself more to then I will do it until then no yeah so inner feelings are important and I'm already following them intuition inter inner feelings awesome very very good very very nice good to follow okay so about coming of age you know this is also another thing that is a stupid thing to force that's if it comes in a natural way it comes and it will come 
and I let God decide when exactly and in what shape or form. What else uh, to talk about at the end? Well, of course, I thank everyone who was or who were watching my videos, who was uh, who were with me on this journey because it's been yeah quite a few years since uh, I created my first YouTube video and Toastmasters and Gabor Speaks and all the rest of the things. Yeah, in Toastmasters you are not supposed to say and, <laughs> but you know, I'm not part of Toastmasters anymore, so and. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely a part of a huge humongous, really long series of endings. These endings are still continuing. So what I want my life to be in the future, and I said this before, that I want to get close to green. I want to live an as natural life as possible because we are apart from nature and we are got got away from nature then for me that means that we also got away from our own deeper nature that we are escaping what is essentially us and i want to redeem it or at least i want to be part of a generation that is that starts to redeem because i feel that this is a long a longer process and you know when the journey starts for real <laughs> then then it is going to be after my coming of age but yeah step by step and you know like i also realized watching my own videos that i was too serious and okay like being a serious man is fine you know i am sure that this is necessary to get the job done but forgetting fun, forgetting play, it makes life so bland and not the borderline, miserable, period. What's, what, what's the point in working something that makes you miserable, you know? It's, uh, it doesn't make sense. So, well, fun, play, and purpose need to come together no play per purpose patience perfect <laughs> all those peas <laughs> so it's it's cool it is really cool and in the army i can i can also do that because there are a little lot of people that are actually open-minded and fun well, not all of them, of course, this is the army. But uh, definitely closer to nature and uh, closer to duty, closer to community, closer to a sense of belonging. And what I want to say also is a couple of things to consider. Because first of all, what I already said before is that this world that we know, the BC world, the before coronavirus world, is dying. Yeah, it's in the process of dying so that it was pretty visible for me during the coronavirus. This is a little bit of revival that we are living through, well, in Europe <laughs> anyway. Uh, we, we are so damn fortunate, really, compared to other countries. Anyway, we are living through a revival, and I think 2024 is going to be still relatively gentle for us. Not so much as 2023 anymore, but still relatively gentle. 2025, I have a deep feeling it's already going to be tough. Much tougher than now. So... I do recommend to prepare. I am also preparing by getting 
or being the best self that I can be, getting stronger, following my intuition to be in a place where I really want to be. And this year is going to be about gaining strength. Let it be physical strength, mental strength. Uh, it's more about galvanizing the long process that I have been through in the past, well, nine years, eight, eight years, definitely, but yeah, past 15 years, easily. So that I am going to be as strong in the inside as in the outside. So yeah, it's, it's in the, on the outside, it was really not visible, you know, the, the struggles that I went through. For some people, parts of it, definitely, but, you know, like I, I always can show a much stronger outside that, that I feel in the inside. And I want to balance those things out, right? So definitely that's, that's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be done. And yeah, that's, that's something that I can recommend to everybody to get the head out of the asses, take a look around and start to take responsibility, you know, like in a Jordan Peterson way, to take responsibility for ourselves, for our well-being, then start a family, start taking responsibility for others and once <clears throat> we are good at the family level we can go forward go up to the community level then the higher community level for for example township or county and you know for the best people for the best serving people in an ideal world then these people go to the top for me this is this is a much better system that we what we have now but it also means that we need to take care of politics and politics in an ancient way when in the ancient greek lands politics me meant dealing with um, with the issues that concerns the city right so this is politics and of course it involves power play it all, of course it involves well a lot of different things that uh, that deals with power but the main thing is about dealing with the issues and something that coronavirus showed us is that our politicians is they are really good when they want to grab power but they're so fucking bad at solving problems on a community level. They are solving their problems, right? But they're not solving community problems at all. Just look at the European Union. <laughs> if, if you want to have a large example and a really, really bad example about solving community problems. All the large ones, they are the same since, uh, since, since the start of the EU. That's... 25 years, yeah, so that's bad. And our politicians, they are not able and they are not willing to solve problems. So I'm saying that if, I'm, if coronavirus was actually a really serious, tough, plague-like uh, pandemic, then we would be royally fucked because the politicians they would have no damn idea and no damn spine to actually do something so something that is real something that is effective and this is our fault yeah so like we for vendetta don't think that this is their fault of course they are responsible for their own actions but we are responsible for putting them into place so that if we want to have good politics, if we want to have a good country, if we want to have good communities, then we need to step in. And my journey now leads into the army because this is the sort of serving or service 
that uh, that I want to make, that I feel like making, that feels meaningful. And you know, all these learned leadership roles, like you are five years in the university and then you read things, forget that bullshit. Yeah, you know, you learn leading by leading, by taking responsibility. And as I said, first for yourself, then da 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 da, da etc. Go up, go up, go up. And if you are reluctant, if we are reluctant to become readers, I think that's a good sign that the person can be a good leader. Well, long story short, <clears throat> I want to end with a poem. Before that, I encourage everybody to do their best to follow the heart, because the heart will say what is the most meaningful and what is it that you need to know. Do, and you already know what you need to do. You are just perhaps too afraid to do it. And if this is the case, this will be a great year, you know, year of the dragon to face fears. Wow, <laughs> it's like I have shivers in my spine when I say this. So yeah, man up or woman up. And yeah, just do the shit that you know that needs to be done. And that's what I'm doing and I'm shitting my pants too. Anyway, I want to thank you again for being with me on this journey on YouTube. I'm going to give or create a couple of more videos for Facebook. Probably one in English, the last one, and a couple of the videos in Hungarian because a couple of people asked me to create videos in Hungarians. Hungarian, they are mainly family and I heed the call. Why not? You know, maybe I also have something to say to them. And the last thing to say to you is a poem of, from, of Jonathan Reed, The Lost, Lost Generation. Can be the last generation too, but this time this is the lost generation. And I bring this poem to you because this was the, not the carpet, the background picture you know there's the profile picture and the one behind it is the oh shit not the carpet picture but the wallpaper not the wallpaper the picture behind okay and i feel that there are many people who misunderstood because maybe they don't read it this poem the right way so i'm going to read it to avoid all confusion and as a good last message for, for this journey on YouTube. Here it goes. Jonathan Reed, Lost Generation. I am part of a lost generation and I refuse to believe that I can change the world. I realize this may be a shock, but happiness comes from within is a lie and money will make me happy. So in 30 years, I would tell my children they are not the most important thing in my life. My employer will know that I have priorities straight because work is more important than family. I tell you this, once upon a time families stayed together, but this will not be true in my era. This is a quick fix society. Experts tell me 30 years from now, I will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my divorce. I do not concede that I will live in a country of my own making. In the future, environmental destruction will be the norm. No longer can it be said that my peers and I care about this earth. It will be evident that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It is foolish to presume that there is hope. And all of this will come through unless we reverse it. There is hope.
It is foolish to presume that my generation is apathetic and lethargic. It will be evident that my peers and I care about this earth. No longer can it be said that environmental destruction will be the norm. In the future, I will live in the country of my own making. I do not concede that 30 years from now, I will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of my divorce. Experts tell me this is a quick society, but this will not be true in my era. Families stay together once upon a time. I tell you this, family is more important than work. I have my priorities straight because my employer will know that they are not the most important thing in my life. So in 30 years, I will tell my children, money will make me happy is a lie, and happiness comes from within. I realize this may be a shock, but I can change the world. And I refuse to believe that I am part of a lost generation. No, no. Goodbye.